Now to the latest in the presidential race, 100 days until Election Day. Former President Donald Trump is not mincing words when it comes to describing his expected Democratic opponent, Kamala Harris, while Harris is cashing in on political momentum. The Harris campaign says of the $200 million raised this past week, two-thirds came from first-time donors, an unprecedented surge in financial support. Now the campaign sets its sights on a specific group of voters. In this election, we know young voters will be key. Age is once again the focus of this presidential race, once used by the Trump campaign against Biden, now becomes a weapon for the Democrats. I'm pretty sure voters are worried about the age and acuity of President Trump compared to Kamala Harris, who represents uh, being a generation younger. And how yeah, could well, anybody not watch the, the, the stuff he's saying, the rambling on the trail, and not be just a little bit concerned? The former president took his message this weekend first to Florida, where he called Harris a bum and a failed vice president. Then on to Minnesota Saturday, where the longtime blue state has the potential to sway in his favor. I will fully uphold our Second Amendment, which, as you know, is under siege. Running mate J.D. Vance joined Trump in Minnesota, pushing the team's populist message, as well as giving a shot against Harris's potential partner. Whoever she picks as a running mate, I think we have the edge because President Trump's governing agenda actually worked for the American people. I think what people in the Rust Belt care about maybe more than anything else is bringing back good American manufacturing jobs. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker has been mentioned as a possible Harris running mate, but he remains mum. I'm not going to talk about that. I am going to talk about what I think is important in this campaign, and that's winning, beating Donald Trump, standing up for Democratic values. The three most mentioned candidates for running mate are Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, and North Carolina Governor Roy Cooper. Harris is expected to announce a decision by August 7th.